Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Dharma and this message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anybody that was drawn to this message. If there's an extended, the link for that will be in the box below. Okay, so Gemini, you have somebody in your phone. Page of Cups style. You talk to them a little bit. They talk to you a little bit. You know. It's Page of Cups. You're listening to them. You're talking to them. They could have water in their chart. <clears throat> Pisces, perhaps. But they, I mean, you guys, it's very, uh, it, in these waters, in the bottom of this, those waters are still, which would indicate peace. This, you're somehow, uh, opening this person's mental cage. You're getting them to be vulnerable, to open up. And then finally, it feels like someone decides to just say what they need to say. And it feels like it's like blurted out, like blah. And then somebody's like, oh shit. They, it's like, I can't unsay that now. Uh, it's been said. And so now, and so now what do we do? <laughs> Because this person is an empress. That's why I'm saying, you know, you're talking back and forth. It's page of cups. It's whatever. But the person that you're talking to is an empress. And she's very, very desirable. And it's like whatever it is that you... That gets blurted out, it cannot be unsaid. And so... Let's talk about that. What is it here that gets said? A hierophant. Well, them's pretty big words. <laughs> the firefly. It's a soul spark. It's someone very exceptional. I mean, there's some cards here that are pretty heavy. Talking about, you know, bondage, there, the bondage and this and that. It seems very small and very minimal because you've got this page and this, you know, little talks. But it feels like little talks all the time. But there's way bigger emotions in there than anybody is letting on. And they just, like, shoot their shot like blah and this person they could be really aggressive they could be really hairy they could be really hot like they could be really sexy but they could also just be like a hot person but they could have a lot of affluence around them they could be muscular this is your boss your chief your judge your ceo they are just coming out with it ripping the mask off it feels like Ripping off a band-aid. You may have known that something's been up with them recently. Like this is your friend, right? This is someone that you are, uh, I mean, it, it's the friendship plus it's the Celtic knot. I mean, you are very, very, very close with this person. And all of a sudden, they are coming out with all of these emotions, and it changes everything. It's like they got them to a place where they could be vulnerable enough to talk. And then it's like they say something. It could be mean. Like, really mean. And it might hurt this one's feelings. And she's like, wow. Didn't know that was how you actually felt. But really, it's like they've got all these feelings under the surface. And it's like everything, like I was saying, the water was calm. And now it definitely is not. Justice, a Libra could be involved. Justice and Emperor. So a Libra definitely could be involved. But it doesn't have to be. 
Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups. They might just like say some kind of ultimatum type shit. If you don't do this, then I'm gonna <clears throat> not do that. Or if you don't. Six of Cups. This moment is so important. Because they might, they might actually leave. What is it here that they absolutely freak out about and just come off with it? See, King of Swords, they're not being nice. Five of Swords. It's the King and Queen of Swords. They absolutely self-sabotage it. Just by being mean. And that's the thing, is that there's Ace of Cups underneath the entire thing. So you have this relationship where it's all still waters and then it's like a hurricane. And when you talk about water and spirituality, that is emotions. And these two people are, it's like refusing to, I don't know. This Empress doesn't feel like she was doing much of anything. It's this masculine who freaks out. Why are they, what is their fucking problem? Why do they freak out? They have anxiety. Terrible, terrible, terrible anxiety. It could have to deal with work. They could hear something through the grapevine that would indicate that they were not as on steady ground with this Empress as they thought that they were. And so this is an Emperor who has been behaving as a page. And it's like they stand up and fool Grizzly Bear and say some stuff and she might take off. Bye. And then it, it makes it worse. And then they might go and like indulge and drink or something like that. And then they get mad. They're like, they're mad at themselves. Do they come back and like try to apologize or because this is a community. Didn't we do a Gemini reading recently where we were like, y'all cannot speak to it. Like you don't know how to talk to each other. Because it feels like the same thing. Magician. Yeah, because my question was like, are they going to come back and try to... <laughs> Death and the Hermit. Yikes. She might not let them come back. This person might actually put something like in your mailbox so that they can talk to you. Like old school, like a letter. Because she won't, she won't talk to them. Wow, whatever they said was pretty awful. But, and now they're all like, I'm gonna heal the situation, I'm gonna. And you can't unsay it. The higher font in the sun. It needed to be illuminated. Maybe it was true colors. Maybe somebody was drinking or something and they said it. See, but these are all good cards. It's like somebody here, this Empress really wants a, you know, a, a, a decent relationship. And it's like whoever this Emperor is that she keeps dealing with, where it's like calm, 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 not calm. And then calm again. She just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. She is not satisfied. It's a burden. And she's quickly moving into a new start anyways. Which that may have been what this was. Like 
the reason that it, these two were able to have such poor communication, like terrible, awful communication with each other, and then come back together is because there was no one else around. Maybe there was no one else to show her that what it was like to be treated like an actual empress, like someone who's delicate, right? And she's out celebrating with this person. Maybe she doesn't return their call or something like that. And they like blow up your phone. Four, four, four. It's it's big change, all right. Because they they can't unsay whatever they said, and they're like, this is why. Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Hierophant. See, this was a, a task for the Empress to remember that she was an Empress. And to not, you can love somebody and not let them treat you like garbage at the same time. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. Until next time, bye.